This video is on YouTube at the request of one of my long-term viewers. I mentioned something on Instagram and I really hate to mention one thing on one platform and then have to do it again. But I mentioned it during my, my live on, on Instagram and she felt I was being too interrupted and uh, she needed to hear what my ancestors were thinking about um, demonic worship in African American society. And so I'm hoping to uh, remember we have been working with several african-american males and every time we call them into the plate we see that they always come with another entity not all of them but 99 percent of them come with another entity and sometimes the entity talks for them and so when we ask questions the entity states that it comes from their their religion the ancient religion before slavery Right. And then we um, asked further questions. And of course, these are to the Bantu, these are demonic religions. Right. And it astounded us that um, African American, the link to the past of Africa metaphysically is still so strong and it still exists. So it was our opinion that African Americans had no clue that they still had a metaphysical link to Africa. That's why we came as your ambassadors. We were trying to open the door, but I guess we were fucking arrogant. We were arrogant. Because then we, we talked to an African American male. He, um, he is a metaphysical practitioner and his practitioning is not af it's not african but it is african in that he's got his own way of doing things and he uses the demons the demons that he was born with the demons that walk with him so he said to me and my ancestors africans are under the impression that we have forgotten everything because of slavery, that we did not bring it all into the 21st century, and you are wrong. We know what we're about. We know what we have. When we step into, into your world, Africans, right, we are as predatory as you are when you step into our world. We harvest you just as much. But you look at us as victims when we are actually predators. We are predators. He was saying this because he tried to harvest me. And in fact, he tried to harvest me. And he was saying, and that's why he was saying this. He said, we are predators and you don't see it. You just see the African-Americanness. But some of us were initiated as kids. We were taught our metaphysicality. And I cannot disagree with him on that because my son's father, who was African-American, did tell me the same thing. He told me the same thing. So he said, yeah, so, you know, we, we are just as deadly because we are still holding on to our ancient religions. They survived slavery. So I asked him, compared, okay, African-American metaphysicality is still African metaphysicality. All black people fall under the same metaphysicality, right? So I asked him, what is the difference between um, what you guys do over there and what we do over here? I was deadly curious. And he said, the Africans are deadly. They go for death. They don't give no two shits about the money. When an African attacks you, it's never about the money. They'll pretend it's about the money, but it's never about the money. They are after your life. We just want money. We just want to snatch and run. We just want to snatch and run, snatch and run. So from now on, because trying to harvest you was the most difficult shit I ever had to do. Okay. I had too much trouble 
It was hard. If the world only knew how hard it is to harvest you, they wouldn't bother. After you, I'm not trying another African ever again. I'm done. I just want to hit and run. Hit and run. So we studied uh, the bit of information that we got from... Um, from the African-American males, um, you know, metaphysicalities whom we had read. And we saw that they all had, you know, demons. They are born with them. Now, we're not saying all African-American males are born with demons. We're just saying the ones we read were born with demons. And some of them, the demons were active and some of them, the demons were not. Out of all, uh, we live under the assumption and the belief system that if you have an energy, you know about it. You know. You may scream, I don't know. You do. You do. Because I know I have my ancestors' energy. So we live under the assumption that you do. One particular African-American male talked about a sex ritual that he does with his baby mamas. So that, you know, yeah, all sorts of things. The thing is, though, we then asked ourselves, so what is the role of the African-American female in these ancient metaphysicalities that they are still carrying? And bam, we should not ask a question. We came across a celebrity and we did this reading on Patreon and that's where it stays, okay? We came across a celebrity and she is a high priestess. And my ancestor said, we knew it. Demonic religions are led by women. Women are the priestesses. That's why Christianity, the Catholic Church, chose male-only priests. And they said they must be unmarried because of the demonic connection women naturally have with the, the devil and the demons and that side, the dark side. So grandma and my ancestors were like, okay. All these demons walking about in these males, who's controlling them? What was the hierarchy here? And we got our answer through the celebrity we read. Okay. She is a high priestess of a dark religion. She would be the second after Miss Beyonce. Yes, I can say Beyonce. After Miss Beyonce that we have met. But... As a celebrity, yes, but in real life readings, as we sit here as the Thassa and we read African Americans, we met a lot of African American females who are high priestesses, either of Alea or Allah, as she is now called, of Oba, not Obatala, of Odudua, who is part, born to serve those gods and goddesses who are actually demons. We have met a few and we have told them, you know, you're a natural born priestess of so-and-so and when we do it, the actual energy of that religion comes and talks to them. This has happened to us and those who've had the readings with me and know because on their videos, they saw that we were conversing. So my ancestor said, so this is how it fucking works in African-American metaphysicality. The women are the highest order. They are the priestesses. Their job is to control the men. The men are the foot soldiers because they are the ones carrying the demons. The women are not. The men are. They are carrying the demons, which means, and the women have the power. They have the strings to pull. They have the strings to pull those demons and tell those demons what to do. Basically, thousands of years ago in the parts of West Africa that this religion came from, the women gave other women the power to control the men. We believe in Africa. It is still happening and that's why African men are so compliantly married over there in West Africa. And that's why Portia's husband, you know, Portia's wife say we own him. Do you know what I'm saying? Men are objects over there. They don't even know it. Right. It is the same thing here. You're geared up like that. The problem is 
your males have somehow retained the knowledge and they are running wild and free doing things in the metaphysical but the females for some reason don't have it you don't have the knowledge to control these demons you don't have the knowledge to control your partners using the, the demons that are on them that take orders from you and that's why your society is unbalanced. <laughs> African American women need to find that knowledge. They need to find that knowledge. They need to find it. And they need to stand in their power. And then there will be changes in your society. Dark changes, but changes anyway. <laughs> On that note, thank you so much i did this for someone who has followed me from the very beginning and i did it out of gratitude and i hope that all of you on youtube will enjoy this i will also put it on patreon so i hope that all of you on youtube will enjoy this as 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 uh, even though it was done just for one person thank you and see you next time bye bye